Hello, everybody. Ugh, I almost forgot I was streaming for a second. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome to the Reef Games live stream. My name is Toby, and today we will be playing Death End Request 2, just for a little bit to end out the day. And we are going to start by hitting continue on our save file. So we do actually have a couple of people that we can talk to. Uh... A few less than we're used to, actually. But let's start with um, this girl, who I can't remember the name of. Oh yeah, because we're showing around um, the new person, who I think is probably going to be joining our party. I spotted Rotty coming in late, and I waved at her. She came uh, running over and looked apologetic. Sorry I took long. Uh, let's head over to the cafeteria. Oh, you're taking, uh, taking that book, Liliana? When it get dirty? No, oh, you have a point, huh? Well, I'm curious about what will happen next. It'll be fine. Liliana has manners, so, uh, she won't read while seating. Yes, of course I what Ah! Well, what the? Hmm? Sorry, you were standing in, uh, in a place where it, <laughs> where it was easy to hug. I couldn't help it. Ah, we're, we're back to her. Rotty sighed as she stared at Victory, holding Liliana. I feel like this is going to cause problems for Liliana when, uh, the, uh, the, the, the potential kind of happening, not really happening relationship, other side of that whole thing, uh, when she gets wind of this. Rotty sides as she stared uh, at Victory holding Liliana. Not again. Didn't I tell you that it's uh, not good to just hug someone out of the blue? Of course I remember. I'm not doing it to you, am I? You... That holds up. In a court of law, that holds up. Just let go. <laughs> I need to pick up my book. Hey, that's not moving. It's dangerous. Huh? Victory lost her balance and stumbled. The moment she caught her balance, I heard a bad sound. She's gonna break the book. Oh no. When Victory moved her legs, there came uh, about her book with pages folded. Oh, book people don't like that. You do not want to mess with the books of book people. You like crack the spine or like bend a page or something. You have a bad time. Ah, that was bad luck. I just bought this book. I'm sorry. Um, I'll lend, I'll lend you this book. Will you forgive me? Victory handed her a book. I wanted to read this. You're not going to lend it to me? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, then I guess I'll forgive you. Seeing that Liliana was in a better mood, Victory smiled. She picked up the book that had fallen on the floor and without hesitation threw it in the trash can. Damn. What? What? It's still, it's still readable. It's a little bent, but it's still readable. Why would you throw it away? I'll still read it. Oh, really? I so Somehow I don't think Victory has much of a concept of how things work. Victory cocked her head as Liliana panicked. Oh, I thought you didn't want it anymore, so I thought I'd throw it away. Sorry. Hey, you surprised me. Uh, it's okay, I'll go get it. Okay, sorry. I guess Liliana didn't want anything else to happen to the book and reached out for the trash can. Seeing Victory quick to apologize, I guess she didn't mean any harm. Hmm, Victory is a good girl, but she's different at times. I guess you'd call that ditzy. Ditzy, huh? I felt like that wasn't the word. <laughs> Maybe just outright dumb is like a better word for this situation. But I didn't know what, uh, what was fitting, so I just stared at Victory smiling. Okay, well what else have we got here? We've got my favourite side character, and also we've got one of my less favourite side characters. She was... this... she was the one who wanted to make the second, like the, wanted to like, 
reclaim like the social vacuum of the bully group, right? That might have been her, I can't remember. Let's see what the ex-bully is doing. I heard footsteps behind me. I stopped. My. Oh, hey Peck, what's up? You wanna... You wanna try and talk about what you were going to talk about last time? Yeah, I've been wanting to talk to you. Oh, she's going to confess to Mai, but Mai is mine. It, is is that is that teasing or is, or is she just really, really not of this world? Let's say. Rati, stop messing around. Okay, she she was joking. I'm sorry. I'll stop. Go on then, Mai. Remember what I said. Be nice, right? I sighed. Rotty smiled. Oh, by the way, you should stop saying that I'm yours. That's never gonna happen. Doesn't like that. Though I knew why uh, she wanted to talk to me. I really didn't want to go. <laughs> My footsteps felt heavy as I walked with Pick. We stopped at the corner of the hall, and Pick uh, bowed at me once again. She remained silent for a moment. I'm so sorry I was such a bully to you. I know that was really messed up of me, but I'd like to ask for your forgiveness. She raised her head from her bow, slowly. Her expression was clearly anxious uh, and waiting on how I was going to respond next. Seriously? I can't erase, uh, erase that stupid grin you had on your face from that day. You expect me to just forgive you? You're really selfish, you know. No, you got it wrong. I wasn't bullying you because I wanted to. I didn't want to do it stared at her, my silent gaze beckoning to continue. Her voice cowered as the words began to spill out. Vina terrifies me. I couldn't defy her. If I didn't look like I was having fun, she would have noticed and brought it up to me later. I was really mortified. If I didn't do what Vina said, who knows what she would have done to me. So it's just, I... Alright, I get it. What a waste of time. <laughs> I forgive her. That's mainly because I like her voice actress. Which isn't which isn't really doing me much good considering she isn't speaking the uh, side story bits. Pick's words were centered on herself. Uh, all she wanted was to walk away from this without a guilty conscience. I got tired of listening to her and just cut the conversation short. Pick looked at me, her eyes seemed hopeful. Does that mean you'll forgive me? Sure, whatever. Are we done? Okay, thanks, Mai. Pick, now beaming, practically skipped away. I like her. She's my favourite. Was this how she apologised to Rotti? That was so nice of you. It seems like you two were really able to make amends. I shook my head uh, as I approached Rotti, who was, as usual, welcoming me with a smile. Rotti, can you honestly forgive her? Huh? I mean, she repented. What more do you want? She felt bad and uh, has been taking the time to apologize to everyone about it. A student uh, who's always been known to uh, a student who's always been known to cause problems has corrected herself. I'm sure even my mother would be proud of that. Repented? Is that what you think that was? She wasn't trying to rectify the situation, as much as she was trying to rid herself of a guilty feeling. She have, uh, would she have said it the way that she did if she really cared about how I felt? I recalled Pick's words, and my uh, brows furrowed. Rotti seemed confused. Huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. Come on, let's go. Okay, so now we have two more. I don't... I vaguely recognise her. I can't remember from what scenario. I think this is the girl who wanted to create, like, the, the splinter group or whatever. I'm sorry. Uh, Mary, I'm completely uninterested in an apology. What I want from you is an explanation. Yikes, someone sounds very angry. Sounds like someone's being scolded in that empty room. It didn't seem uh, particularly unusual. I tried to walk past the room, but Rotty decided to stop and listen. Listen to that voice. Doesn't it sound like the RA? What? Abigail? I can't imagine that Dizzy girl uh, to be this angry. Who's the RA? I don't know who the RA is. The door was wide open. 
As Rotty tried to get a closer look, she sneakily walked to the door and observed. They're called forbidden areas for a reason, you know that, don't you? I was just so caught up in my game of hide and seek. Mary's hands were gripped to her, uh, to her own skirt, perhaps in an attempt to stop them from shaking f uh, from fear. I don't enjoy pe uh, watching people get reprimanded like this. Rotty saw who it was. Rotty, we saw who it was. Let's go already. Hold on. Rotty is obviously not cut from the same cloth. Uh, hold on, hold on. This is just getting good. Good? I wanted to leave, but uh, couldn't help to look. I peered in and saw Abigail hugging Mary. Uh, Mary. M Marie? Marie. I always, whenever I see or read or hear the name Marie, I always second guess myself every single time without fail because just like 50 different Breaking Bad memes of Hank's wife Marie comes into my brain and I, I just think of I just think of Hank shouting about minerals and I it's just like no it can't be Marie that's the lady who from Breaking Bad I'm useless uh, resident assistant. Okay, that makes more sense than anything I would have thought of. I'll be leaving soon. You're a good one, Marie. You understand, don't you? Yes, and I'll never do it again. Abigail looked at Marie with such tenderness as Marie nodded in agreement. The game's just making me say Marie over and over again just to really get it in my head. The RA is usually very ditzy, but when she sees someone doing something potentially dangerous, she becomes very impassioned. And, after having a serious chat, she would always offer forgiveness, just like this. Here I thought she was useless as an RA. I guess she does uh, have a good head on her shoulders. I have to get to the RA position somehow. Oh. Wow, you look like you're impressed. Hey, what do you think about me? Do I impress you like that? You look... <laughs> okay. Rotty, I like you, so I'm going to give you some advice. I only, I only do this if I like you. You gotta bring down the desperation. Just like a, an inch. Just a cut, like... You're scraping the top of what's reasonable with those first few lines of, like, do I impress you like that? That's like, that's going... That's really edging into too far territory. It's that last bit where it's like, that's just pure desperation. Why would you even try to steal the moment like that? Come on, let's go. What? Like Rotty said, I was actually impressed with Abigail. Something stood out, though. I'll be leaving soon. You're a good one, Marie. You understand that, don't you? She did say she was leaving soon. What does that mean? Hey, Mai, uh, can we try going to that shop next time? What do you think? What kind of shops do they even have in this town? I feel like they would have, like... Because they, they don't seem to have, like, tourists, right? I mean, what tourists would want to go to a town where you have to go to bed at midnight every night? No one wants that. Uh, so, like... What even shop, like... What shops would you have? Hey Rotty, doesn't that look really interesting? Near the shop Rotty was talking about, there was Sarah, who seemed to be sneaking around, hiding behind the building. Oh, you mean Sarah? I suppose it does seem interesting, but I really wanted to spend time with you. You don't have to. I ripped Ro Rotty off my arm as she was clinging to it, and started walking towards Sarah, who seemed to be acting rather strangely. It looks like she's staring at someone, something. Is she following someone? Hmm. Sarah. I tapped uh, her on the shoulder and she jolted. Shh. What are you? Huh? Hey, be quiet. Her hand covered my mouth almost instantly. She looked very serious. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a bit much, huh? Goodness, what are you doing here, Sarah? You look so suspicious right now. I know I do. 
Sorry didn't seem to acknowledge Rossi. <laughs> Probably for the best. And continued observing her subject. Don't tell me she's caught up in something dangerous. Phew, I think I'm still in the clear. Who are you following? I'm not following anyone, I'm just supervising. There's a student out there who's running errands for the very first time. They're running errands? Yeah, they won't be much good if they get lost. What happens if she gets too scared and starts crying out there? Then what? I'm just keeping an eye on her, making sure everything goes smoothly. I still don't know who you're talking about. If you're trying to supervise her, why don't you get closer rather than stalk her from afar like this? I can't do that. It would be pointless if I get caught. Why? You're not doing anything wrong. Sarah shook her head and slumped her shoulders. Ah, you don't get it, do you? Pretend you two uh, went out on your first errand. What if, even though you put so much effort into doing your job, you realized that someone had been keeping tabs on you the whole time? Hmm, well, I guess I'd be happy because it would feel like someone cared about me enough to worry, right? No. <laughs> My answer seemed to stand opposite to Rotti's. If it happened to me, I would think that person didn't trust me. As I muttered my answer, Sarah's eyes went wide. Exactly. Anyone would be sad to realize that no one trusted them, right? So I just wanted to watch uh, from afar. But not so from afar uh, that I can't help if needed. Sarah seemed very proud for a moment, but immediately gasped and peeped back out. She kept looking around. Crap, we were chatting for so long. I have to make sure I don't lose her. Oh, there she is. I'm going to make a move. Make sure you two don't get lost, okay? Just like that, Sarah continued sneaking around for, uh, from hiding from hiding spot to hiding spot. Don't get lost. How old does she think we are? Well, I don't think she's being overprotective. And we can end the day. Tonight is our welcome soiree. Oh boy, a welcome soiree. Ladies, please be sure to celebrate. Our three new students, ladies, please be sure to celebrate responsibly. That is what the words were. I drifted out of focus during Headmistress uh, Midra's speech, choosing instead to focus on the s meal set out before me. Nice affair than usual. Our usual light broth was replaced by a stew. Uh, it, was e it even contained meat, what little of it there was. Got it. This is what the welcome soiree looks like. Not that I would know. I didn't get one. I mean, you're only like one person. This is three. I can understand the difference. Okay, commence, commence the, the feast. feast. I feel like the phrase commence the feast is is one I cannot trust. Like, if anyone says commence the feast, that means all of the food is like poisoned or cursed or something. The soiree uh, followed the prayer immediately. I can't get over the word soiree. Lively conversation bounced around the dining hall. I'm with you, Saber, on both of those fronts. Liliana, you have crumbs on your mouth. Liliana, you have crumbs on your mouth. Here, I'll wipe them off for you. I'm sorry, Ma. Thank you. That that's that's the kind of attention to detail voice acting that we like around here. You're welcome. Aren't you polite? You're welcome, aren't you polite? I don't mind saying it, they're saying it. Oh, I like pathetic characters. I do. I like this. This this is this is my happy place. Wipe them yourself. <laughs> oh, come on! Such an exciting evening. Do you normally gather for meals like this? Yeah, we always eat together. But we're only allowed to be this loud for welcome stories, though. The, the the phrase welcome soiree is uncovering a memory and I can't quite pin it down. It's in one of the early Mario Party games, like I think two. I, I, I assume it's two. There is an event on the western style map and it's a something jamboree. And I cannot remember what it's called. And I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my mind if I don't figure out what this thing is. Uh, Mario Party 2 maps. 
Uh, is there a wiki here? There is. Mario Party 2 wiki. This is... Sometimes I kind of just go off in a tangent and my brain can't focus until I've satiated that problem. Uh, Western Land. Uh, does Western Land have its own wiki page? That is the important question. It does. So, the thing I'm thinking of is... So it's supposed to be like a jamboree. So if I do Control F, jamboree. No? Soiree? No? Oh, I'm losing my mind. I swear it's... Yeah, it's the, it's the milk. The milk soiree or something, right? Why is why 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 is why is this not Why is this not listed on the page? Oh, I feel like an idiot. Oh, hang on, wait. Uh Okay, yeah, I Oh. Wiggler's Hootenanny. That's it. Hootenanny. That's the one I'm thinking of. Wiggler's Hootenanny. There you go. Okay. It wasn't... It was, okay. Was it really cute, Nanny? Damn. I was off the mark. Splendid. Splendid. How wonderful... Uh, I'm speaking over them again. Uh, how wonderful for me that I may dine uh, with you all of you this evening. Liliana, do you want more stew? There's bread here too. I'm still speaking over them. You can, she's a little bitter. Oh my god, she actually made my feel a little bad. That's incredible. It was true. I was dozing on Liliana. The only reason I suspected was that she experienced something similar to me. Oh, so they're not in Japan? Oh, I guess they are in like a Switzerland type place then, right? Maybe like North Italy? A mystical country in the Orient. Are you from the past? Tell me your wildest dream. Tell me your wildest dream. What a opener. My dream is to uh wildest dream is to become my wife. I don't think I can like fully express the pain that I feel hearing that. Really? <laughs> don't believe her. What are you doing? She's joking. Liliana, don't listen to a word that comes out of Roddy's mouth. <laughs> You're cute when you blush. Jesus Christ alive. This is like this is like a comedy of errors of a conversation right here. Well, this is her dream. Oh, she wishes to be an exorcist. That's nice. My father was an exorcist. My father's father was an exorcist. Oh my god. Interesting. What the... What the... Bizarre backstory. If my father had never become possessed, none of that would have happened. It's all the work of a demon. Which explains why you want to be an exorcist. Indeed. Huh. One day I hope to rid the whole world of monsters. Well, ridding the world of monsters definitely gives a point uh, towards the she's joining the party of monster killing people sort of plot idea. In truth, thanks to religious skepticism, I wasn't too familiar with exorcism, but I understand where Liliana came from. I could never take her faith away from her. Faith. What a strange concept. Hey Roddy, tell me more about this El 
Bell Strain business. Bell Strain is the religion at the heart of Wordsworth. It's followed by Headmistress Midra and all of the maids. They say this town is right under God's watchful eye. That sounds like when you like take religion as a concept and then geographically boil it down to just one location. That starts to sound a little more like a cult. <laughs> In terms of like Ah yes, this this religion is exclusively for this one town in the middle of nowhere. It's like, yes, okay, sure, I see. Do they follow any sort of doctrine? The El Strain faithful believe it protects their bonds with their loved ones for eternity. It's beautiful, don't you think? I don't know. <laughs> sure, I couldn't wrap my head around how they believed any of it. Given my lack of faith, but it was a nice sentiment. Of course. Oh, strain. I am unfamiliar with that faith. It's okay, Liliana. I'm sure your faith is important too. Okay, at least they are open to uh, other people's Both of faiths. Us can believe in different gods. Respecting that is what's important. Okay. This is this is good. Different religions or not, if we learn to accept one another, we can accomplish anything. A little bit of a TED talk in the middle of this uh, welcome soiree, but you know I welcome it. Exactly. Pleasure chatting with you, Liliana. Rotty and Liliana exchanged a determined handshake. Neither of their religions made much sense to me, but if the two of them can find common ground, so can I. Liliana, to your future as an exorcist. Cheers. After that, conversation flowed freely browsing the, throughout the evening until the welcome soiree came to a close. Ah, what a lovely soiree. Indeed. Liliana sure knows how to act like a lady, even with her baby face. I'm in awe. Indeed. What's the matter, Mai? Hmm. I can't think about anything other than getting this thing to work. I need the password. I can't think of one. What should I do? You're telling me mages get stumped too, Mai? I told you, I'm not a mage. Hey, Iris. <sighs> what are you doing up so late? I yawned for the, for the text and I actually yawned in, in real. Seems like I need a password to get in. Can you help me out? Hmm, impossible. I have no clue. A useless, all-knowing laptop, my butt. How rude. That's just hearsay. You can't expect me to know something I don't. Oh, but maybe I have a hint. Oh, you do? Spit it out. Here. A rat I left behind this map of Lakawa. Perhaps this could help. A ratter? Is this the owner, uh, previous owner's name? With piqued curiosity, I stared long at the map. It was a map of the town. Sections are marked. I don't know where it leads, but it's something. So far, my search for Sinai uh, yielded nothing. There was no telling if this hint from Iris was useless, or if it was exactly what I needed. Now was no time to be picky. Every hint was worth investigating. Thanks, Iris. I'm logging off. Huh? Mai? You thinking of sneaking out? Yes, if someone comes by, just tell them I'm sick. Wait! Oh, I don't know about that. Take me with you. Might get dangerous again. Dude, she has a gun. I think she'll be fine. In fact, I think she's doing more damage than you. Even more reason. I'm your protector. Okay, come along. Alright. Time to get some battles in before we uh, head off for tonight. Actually, I wonder if uh, progress in the story means that uh, we can get more uh, more shop stuff. Oh, a save point. Let's rest a moment. Because there was the shop here. I have good. Uh, patch 2.0... Yeah, I think we have unlocked new stuff. Okay, cool. So we have the... 
X Vile, which is a new weapon for me. Lightning gun, weapon for uh, Rotty, although it's not really that big of an upgrade. The X Vile is more of an upgrade. So I think maybe go for that. Um, maybe. What other stuff we got here? Uh, normal bracelet three sounds pretty good. You can get that. Wait, actually, is there any like armors? Boo! Hello. Big HP, big defense, magic defense, and agility, but lowers attack. That's pretty good. I mean, just considering. Uh, Supreme Plume on Mai looks pretty good. Uh, let's do this. Let's buy an X-Vile. Uh, let's get a Supreme Plume and some level 3 normal bracelets. Actually, or should we get some... Hmm. Yeah, let's go for some will this of these. Thank you. How red I will see you again. Cool. Uh, view and switch our equipment. x file. No bracelet. How is, How is it? Cool. And then... We switch to Rotty. Okay. We'll reset three. No ring. I might buy a second ring for Rotty. Eh, I'm, I'll be fine. Uh, let's return. Let's head out. Cool. Oh, a save point. Let's. I think we're. Oh, we're going down. I think that's new. Let's have a look. I think this has opened up. I think... Was it like this before? I can't remember. Oh my god, that guy's running at me. Alright, let's see what's happening over here. My time scares me. Maybe we should turn back. Head back, Rotty. I'll go with a line. Hey, kidding. I'm not leaving your side. Is that... Someone's here. Find cover. Right. Surely He'll surely be mad. Headmistress Medra finds us. Good luck us in our rooms for good. Sounds like torture. What are you doing up so late? The old man snuck up on me and Rotty, causing us to scuttle back. I felt so stupid, doing exactly what uh, I cautioned us against. Girls your age shouldn't be out this late. I'm sorry. It's dangerous. Get off to bed. You want me to escort you home? Thanks for the concern. We'll hurry home. I thought they weren't supposed to be out late either. What's that civilian doing? Hmm. I gave him a cut answer, took Rotty's hand, and took off in the opposite direction. Oh, he seemed freaked out back there. Well, he said was fine, but something about him was off. You think? I bet he's just concerned. Didn't you see? His eyes fell out of focus. His arms were limp. He seemed lifeless. So weird. It was the same for everyone we passed. Have you ever seen uh, any of the people from the afternoon before, Rotty? No. I'm sure they were just strangers, is all. Maybe, but whatever. Forget it. Ooh, this is new. Hello. Shopping district. So, this is the shopping district. Yep, I was hoping our first time here would be on a date. Yeah, how's that turn out for you? Okay, well, we can save here. It seems very bare. 
There's something over here. Oh, there's something big over there. Alright. I think that's one of the bosses I fought earlier, wasn't it? Well, let's try and pass them. I think you'll make it, Roddy. Oh god, no, it's Y. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I, I hit A into the Y. Okay. Uh, let's see what you are. Moon, which is beaten by star attacks. Cool. Let's do this. The uh, floor glitches look way different on this part of the map. Uh, so we're doing fours. Not fours, sorry. Stars. Knock back. I think I killed him. Oh no, not quite. He must be so low. Okay, well we'll just attack him. There you go. Level up, maybe? Oh, not quite. Okay. Oh. That's new. Oh, okay. So you can just fall down. How interesting. I think you'll make it, Roddy. Okay, so those markers on the map just mean it's something you can do the fly move with. Uh, so if we continue down here, there's another one. There's a PC here. Or something. Oh, okay. So, so it just means interactable. Okay. Uh, Cyrus Bomb? Something. Oh, that's a big lad. That's a very big lad. Okay. Can I get past? Oh, just about. Okay. Uh, what is back here? Judging from the map, it seems to be a bit more south. Well, good thing we're uh, about to go south. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, down here. Okay, it looks like we're actually... I didn't even see. I was too scared about getting ambushed by that guy. Cool, we're here. Ooh. Celebrity Arcade. Who knows where this map's leading us to? Okay, well, I'm picking up a bunch of stuff. What is, I wonder if the bomb is an equipable instead of a consumable. Um, oh, I was kind of hoping it would be a ring I could give to uh, Rotti. Okay, let's turn off here. There's a computer, but instead let's just go through. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's another one of those little girl enemies. They destroyed me last time. Oh god. Oh, that's bad. Oh no, I'm behind us. That's not good. Uh, run, run, run. Escape. Cool. Let's get out of here, Scoob. Uh, right. Almost there. Almost there. Probably. Let's check the map. Yeah, I have no idea. I assume I'm almost there. Uh, actually. Can we use... Some patches. Oh, let's do that. Okay. Oh, a Saurus Bomb. What does that do? Uh, fully revives all units. Wow, that's pretty damn good. Let's stock those up. Okay, we're still being chased after. 
Uh, but we've just hit another save point. Bodes well. Another little guy. Cool. We are really given the uh, the runaround here, aren't we? We're just looking for a damn password. Going all the way across town. Oh my god. This is a new type of environment. Mountain Park. Town outskirts. I see. How interesting. Another save point. Oh, a save point. Uh hmm. interesting. Oh god. Oh, leave me alone. No! Go away! That's what I'm saying. I want to hit like one more one more plot point and then call it there for the night okay that's not exactly the plot point I was looking for uh, we can go up there oh that's like a death monster that's not good I assume that means it's oh this one's following me please there we go I wonder what that meant. Nothing's here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Something over here. Oh my god. Okay, well, there's that. Something's here. Come on. Mountain key area. Okay, sure. I think you'll make it right. Uh, if it's like a mountain area, it's probably up the mountain then, right? Oh, God. Oh, yep, that's the thing. Please, let me through. Okay, cool. Oh, almost, almost. Almost made it through. Not, that's not good. Um, oh, what are you? Moon star attacks. Ooh, that does not do a lot of damage. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay, this is good. We need damage. Glitch mode is good. Okay. I am so happy I hit glitch mode. God, it's so powerful. Oh my god. Almost the double overkill. Oh, my enemy that strong too. Lots of XP. Definitely a level up, which is good because we needed the healing. Um, Something's coming. Is that? What do you mean? Oh, yep, something is. Interesting that the uh, bug spots don't seem to train your HP in this game. Oh, did they do that in the first game? That is interesting. I'm scared of this guy. I'm scared of everything. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's not entirely what I wanted. I was hoping that would take me away somewhere. Uh, okay. Where am I going? So we're probably going down that way. Hopefully I'll outrun everyone. Oh god. Oh, we probably have to go through there. Okay, we snuck past. Okay. There is a save point here, and I'll probably have to concede here. I wasn't expecting that. I'll do this fight, and that that's a lot of people. Right, okay. Um, sure. Okay, moon, star. Okay, cool. Okay, so I can probably get three like this. Or, or does it only, does it not penetrate? Does it only just go through one? Or oh, I think it only goes through one. Oh, no, okay, it does go through.
That was more good than I was expecting. I'm happy with that. It's real pinball stuff going on there. Okay. Yep, I'll take that. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, I'll probably... Okay, that was a lot of XP. Uh, I want to save that. Um, we will continue with this next time. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I see you again tomorrow. Have a lovely evening. Oh, I'm stretching. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Have a uh, lovely evening. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to be playing more Atelier Sophie and uh, Neptuni RPG tomorrow, which is very nice. Uh, yeah, hope to see you again soon. See ya! G goodbye. This is, this is my goodbye thing. This is how I say goodbye. Okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> Before I embarrass myself any further. Alright, see ya.